Whenever you're ready. In the Glass Grimly by Adam Gerwitz. Do you remember the story of Jack and Jill when you were little? This book is completely different. It's not so happy as you think it is. This book is based on the adventures of Jack and Jill, also with the little frog that comes along. Jill, the princess of the kingdom, had run away from the castle. What an embarrassment that was to her. She found a three-legged frog. She wondered what had happened to the frog's other leg. They became good friends and ran away together. They headed for her cousin Jack. Jack was a boy who that lived with his father. He was a boy who would just for once like to fit in with the other kids. Jack and his father had a horse that was sick. Jack had his father Jack and his father had to sell him because they needed the money. Jack made a mistake. He traded the horse for something magical. Read and find out what he traded the horse with. <coughs> when Jill had arrived at her cousin's house, Jack was sitting in the grass. She joined him. An old lady with a baby face walked up to them. They started to talk to one another. She asked if they could find the seeing glass for her. If they don't, they would die. Jack and Jill had accepted to do that. Jack and Jill had to go through giants. They had gone through challenges so they won't, wouldn't die. First, they cha challenged Jack to throw really big logs up in the air or they would die. Since obviously Jack couldn't do that, they challenged Jill to something which was to eat porridge, with porri porridge which is nasty. Jill ended up tricking them the giants all ended up dying. Jack and Jill were at a hotel because Jack had gotten injured. Jill met a red-bearded guy that told her a story about a mermaid. The mermaid liked little girls, just like Jill. That night, as Jill was trying to fall asleep, something weird started to happen. She started to hear a beautiful voice singing. It's the villagers playing a joke on me tomorrow. They'll ask me if... I heard something strange in the night. Just wait and see, as Jill told herself life while hearing the beautiful voice singing the song. Quote is found on page 120 in the book. Jack and Jill, along in their adventures, came to a salamander. He was really big. He kind of looked like a dinosaur. The salamander only spoke amphibian, and since the frog spoke that, he translated for them. His name is Eddie. Eddie. Jack and Jill wanted to know if he knew anything about the seeing glass. He had said he swallowed something a long time ago, and it's been hurting him. That doesn't sound bad, Jack said, as he found out that him and Jill had to crawl into Eddie's mouth. Will the seeing glass be in Eddie's stomach, or will it be something else? Before you read this book, you might <coughs> want to go and check out the book, A Tale Dark and Grim. It's the book before this one, and it's great as this one. It's also by Adam Gidwitz and the Grimm Brothers. Will Jack and Jill ever get to the sea and glass? Read and find out. Trust me, you'll love it.